Good morning, this is Mamma Joy, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be working with a butternut squash today. I started on it, and I got interrupted, but I got the bottom cut off, not very well. And I'm going to cut the stem end off, if I can get it cut through. These are really tough, and uh, they're hard to cut. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try to um, cut it long ways, and I don't know. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not, because this is such a, well, this is actually, oh, I'm going to have to get my brace on, and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll see if I don't <laughs> know if this is going to work either, but You can peel these <laughs> and uh, then cut them, but that doesn't make them cut any easier, it's for sure. And this is not going to be real even because I didn't get it cut straight. Now I'm going to have to take this back off. I can't. do anything with it. I can't do anything without it. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I can get it. By the time you get done watching this, you may not even want to try one of these, but they are really good. You can make soup out of these two. But I'm gonna, oh goodness sakes. Now, another thing that I'm gonna do Scoop these seeds out. <laughs> and put them in this strainer. They don't, this one doesn't seem to have, they don't have many seeds, but they say that these are better than pumpkin seeds, but I don't know, because I've never had any, just uh, butternut squash seeds. This has a nice smell to it. And what, what you do is you rinse these in cold water, which we didn't have a lot of the, the pulp on them, so that's a good thing. I'm just going to kind of let those drain and huh, 
I went through four knives trying to get that cut, and those weren't even, it was dull, dull. I had just sharpened one of them, though. I don't know why he was so dull. And I'm going to try to cut this out. I don't know the best way to do it. But you're not seeing anything that I'm doing. And you're probably saying, why would you mess with something like that? But it is very good. And I have had squash soup before, and it is delicious. But that's not what I'm going to do with this one. I think I'm just going to bake it. And then I'm going to add a mixture to it that has some, I'm going to cook some sausage and onion and green peppers and garlic and uh, see what I can come up with because you can make a breakfast dish with this. This knife doesn't seem very sharp and, <laughs> and it was these are just uh, hard to mess with, but very good to eat. And for whatever reason, they're um, who the first person was that ever ate one <laughs> probably was wore out by the time they got it ready to cook. Maybe I can scrape the rest of that out. After I get it baked, get my hands rinsed off here. And you need to cook these at 400, and I didn't have my oven on. But I've got my baking sheet ready. And I'll get that ready. Get this put on here. And, uh, oh, I just don't like the looks of that too well, but. minutes, but they need to be, um, get tender, and, um, so what you do, I better put the cookie sheet over here, and put this on it. I'm going to put olive oil on them. I'm going to rub it all over them.
probably put a little too much, but soak up some of this it's on the baking sheet. We need that much. I think we got carried away. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do get this oil off of my hand. <laughs> oh. Is I'm going to sprinkle some kosher salt on it. And some pepper. And then turn them over. And then I will wait the oven till the oven preheats to 400 and put this put this in the oven and bake it for about 50 minutes when it gets done I will be back to show you it's not ready to go in yet but I'll be back to show you what I'm gonna do with it when we take it out of the oven and I may be Back before then, I'm going to show you what I'm going to prepare to put in the squash or with the squash when I get it cooked. Okay, I was going to tell you, whenever you <clears throat> roast these seeds, and like I said, there's not very many, but uh, just put your oven on 300 and um, roast them for about 15 minutes, but stir them two or three times and keep an eye on them. <clears throat> now, I'm back <laughs> and I have changed my mind about what I'm going to do. I've chopped up um, some green pepper, some celery, and some onion. And this may be too much for what I've got in the skillet. I've got a half a pound of sausage. I went ahead and used breakfast sausage, but I would recommend using Italian sausage. And um, what I'm gonna do with this is put some Italian seasoning in it. Also, I'm gonna add some garlic, which I have this minced garlic in a jar. And uh, that's what I'm gonna put in it. I have put some olive oil into the skillet. Um, I'm just gonna cook up about a half a pound of this because <clears throat> I may only do uh, half of the squash this way and the other half just put brown sugar and butter on it So I'm going to brown this up and uh, going to add probably a fourth of cup of these vegetables, a fourth a cup of onion, and about a fourth a cup of green peppers. about a fourth a cup of celery. And then when that, this gets mixed in with the squash, it'll take up some of the room for the vegetables. 
sprinkle on this Italian seasoning to give this a little different taste than, than breakfast sausage. And I'm going to put in about probably a little teaspoon of the garlic. This smells really good. I didn't have Italian sausages while well, I was gonna make a breakfast thing, and then I decided, no, I didn't really want breakfast. But... So I think that this uh, Italian seasoning, yeah, it's gonna help this sausage tremendously. I think that they're done and uh, I get them out uh, and start adding the sausage to it. Then I'll reheat it again and make it like a twice bake, twice bake. I'm not really using a recipe. I'm just kind of doing my own thing for something that I wanted. And uh, then I'll be back. Okay, I've just taken the squash out of the oven. And it was in there for 50 minutes. smell good. Now, what I was going to do was just put butter on one half of it and brown sugar. And on this other one, I was going to scoop out in this mixing bowl.
Oh, this is gonna be so yummy. If I don't burn my fingers. Okay. Now I'm not gonna need all of this meat. Cause I, I could have done both of them that way. And after I taste it, I'll let you know I may do them both that way. I'll take about half of this, which is the a fourth a pound of meat. This is a, would be a really low calorie meal because I think a butternut squash is only about for the whole thing. 180 calories. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so good, I can tell by the smell. Now, I'm not sure about the cheese, but I'm going to put some on it. But I may not like the cheese on it as well as if I Thought I would. And all I'm going to do is put this back in the oven long enough to melt the cheese. And I'm going to put this other squash. I'm going to take it out because I, if I like this well enough... I'm going to make the other one like this and have it for later. Or save it for Eric because he's on his way home soon. Okay. Now I'm going to get a plate out. And I'm going to lay this up on the plate. That it looks good, doesn't it? I can tell you right now, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be very good. I have just cheddar cheese, but I also have uh, Colby Jack, and that's what I'm gonna use. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. to do is put this back in the oven and melt the cheese. And I could have put more cheese on there, but I wasn't sure I would like the cheese on it. Into the oven. And it's still on 400. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Oh, and I can't wait to taste it. Hey, I've got it out of the oven. And the cheese is melted. And it looks so good. It looks so, so good. I'm going to have to start wearing arm guards to keep from burning my arms and my hands all the time. I just keep burning myself. Oh, I better push that back or I'll have my arm on it. <laughs> oh, my.
That is so, so good. You definitely you should go ahead and use the Italian sausage. This tastes wonderful because I put the Italian seasoning in it, but that's what I would go ahead and use. Mm. Oh my. That is just delicious. Just delicious. The peppers, the onions, the garlic, the celery, the Italian seasoning, the squash has such a wonderful flavor. Mm. Oh, it is so, so good. I wish there was someone here to share this with me. I'd bake them up the other half. <laughs> oh, this is, this is just delicious. Delightful. Be lovely. <laughs> mm. Awesome. I've turned the oven down to 300 because the uh, squash seeds have to be on 300. And I'll probably use a little uh, pie pan to roast it in. Probably this little pan right here because that's about what'll fit in there. This pan is old as I am, or maybe older. My mother, when she baked pies, always made me a little pie for myself in this little pie pan. And I've kept it all these years. So, it's, and she may have had it before I was born, for all I know, but it's, Made a lot of pies. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to roast those pumpkin seeds in. And <clears throat> I'll let you know how they taste. Alrighty. I just took these out of the oven. I baked them in this little pie pan on 300 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I tested them before... I uh, took them out to make sure they are crispy. Now, you might think that you're eating the shell and you're not supposed to, but you are. Mm. They're good. I put a little olive oil on them, on my fingers, and then rubbed it on them, and put a teeny tiny bit of salt. You can put brown sugar and cinnamon on them if you want. I just wanted them this way. Mmm, they're really good. Really, really good. Anyway, I think the name I'll give this squash is um, Squash Stuffed with Sausage. Sausage Stuffed Squash with Cheese. Mm. These are good. Like I said, there's not many in there, but... They're kind of tasty. So, if you was making soup out of the squash, you could put this in your soup. And have it that way. And I'm just going to have it for a little snack. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. 
and um, we'll try a squash. It's really good. And like I said, it's good with just butter on it and brown sugar, like you would do uh, a sweet potato. So you might wanna, wanna try that also. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.